Well, welcome to Midwest Outdoors. We're out here on the Bay of Green Bay today doing a little fishing for some walleyes. Jim's got one on right now. Let's see what we got here. You wanna take a couple steps back, Jim, so I can reach the planer board and, ooh, nice walleye. Got him. Nice, healthy Door County walleye there. Put this on the bump board here and let's see what we got here. We are at 28 and a half. That is a beautiful Door County walleye right there. This fish here, it appears to be spawned out already, which is surprising with the water temps at 40 degrees to see it spawned. But it's not uncommon for them to spawn in the lower temps. Um, this size walleye, we don't ever keep. We let them go, you know, unless the guy's gonna stick it on their wall. We like to release the bigger fish, looking for those 30 plus inchers. We'll let that one go tonight. Got that reflector on the tattle flag, Zach. Set it off. Coming back. It's a good one for the frying pan right there. We don't see a lot of these in this spot, but every once in a while we get a nice little eater here. We'll throw that one in the box and take it home. You got another one on? Got Feels like a pretty on. good fish. Just remember, Jim, when this fish comes in, we got the, oh, the yeah. drift sock off the back tonight. I see him. Well, right now, with the water temperature only being right around 40 degrees, we have to get down to about one mile an hour. So we are actually dragging three drift socks tonight to get down to our slow speed. So with having to go that slow, it's, you know, cold water, you gotta go slow. You know, summertime we'll do one and a half to two miles an hour, but this time of year, it's slower the better. How's that one, Jim? Feels pretty good. Bigger than the last one. Not too bad a one. Nice fish there, Jim, mid-20s. That one bit a number nine flicker shad. Now, when we fish in the summertime, we fish more of the eater size down in the lower bay, and they'll be a little bit lighter in color. But up here in Door County, they get this really nice gold coloring to them. Such a beautiful fish. This one's at 27 inches. This will be a beautiful fish in a couple more years. Crystal clear water here. You can see that fish go down a long ways in that clear water. So Zach, you've been fishing professionally 18 years now, 12 years on your own service? Yes, I've been, I started off in Algoma. That's where I grew up. I've been doing the Algoma salmon fishing for 18 years now. And then I've just grown into more species now where I do the walleyes out on the Bay of Green Bay. You know, depending on the bite, depends on where we fish. Like tonight we're up in Door County. And you're hard water <clears throat> and soft water. Yes, I do year round guiding. It's my full time job. I guide seven days a week year round. And tell us about this new catamaran we're on tonight. The catamaran I love. It's a 27 footer. I'm able to trailer it so I can always stay on the best bite out here. And it, the ride is just the best there is. I mean, they ride so much smoother. And if you get something blows up on you with weather fast, it's much safe and you can get in quicker if you have to. Yes, and it handles the choppy water so nice. Feels like a pretty good one, guys. Fishes. Staying out to the side. Get the board off, and there's the fish out right there. Yep. And right in the middle here, Jim. Another nice Door County walleye there. Another beautiful walleye. It's gotta be mid 20s or better. Is that yeah, it? I would say it's another mid 20s. It's got a little bit of tail beat up on it. Not uncommon to see on the walleyes in here when you get to the bigger size. Healthy fish, chunky. Yeah, it's a nice healthy one. You know, in the summer months, we target the eater fish more so. You know, so the May, June, July, August, you know, we're getting good numbers of eater size fish. Well, here we're out fishing in the spring. We're in very shallow water. We're fishing anywhere from five to 15 foot of water. So we use a lot of shallow diving baits like husky jerks. You know, this is a clown husky jerk. And with being that shallow, you don't have to let out a lot of line. This one, I only had 20 feet back. Nice thing with these new pen squall reels is they got the line counter on them, very smooth drags on them. I got my pens matched up with the seven foot ugly stick GX2 one piece rods. These have a really nice action for walleyes. Best rod that there is. And then we are using the yellow bird planer boards. I have them outfitted with reflector tape. So that way we can see them at nighttime out here. I do put lights on some of them as well. I do use glow sticks and I also use fireflies. We have some of both out. We'll get this planer board back in line here and we'll get back to some more fishing. 
We're hooked up once again here. It feels like a really good one this time. Definitely bigger than keeper size. That's the interesting thing. You can feel them, but you can't see them until they get in a little bit closer when you're fishing at night like this. Just keep reeling if you can, Jim. Okay. okay. Um, I'm in between here. Get ready, backing up. We got it. Mess and all. That is a big one. Oh, holy yeah. cats. It took out every single rod on that side of the boat, but this one's worth it. Hold up your trophy there. That is definitely a trophy. 30 and a half inch is a dandy walleye. Just another day out here at Why Not Guide Service, catching some nice dandy walleyes. Zach, if someone else would like to have the great time that I just had, how do they get a hold of you? You can visit me on the web at whynotguideservice.com or you can give me a call at 920-559-7473. And then I do also keep my Facebook page up to date daily with all my, up, with all my fishing reports. Had a great time with Zach and Bob with Why Not Guide Service. Definitely check them out. I'm Jim Quinn with Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.